Hi everyone, welcome back to Crochet Rocks. It's Tracy here and I'm going to review this uh, Wondersoft Merry-Go-Round Double Knitting Yarn that I have on my online shop, Hobby Rocks. When I first got this and um, I did the unboxing, uh, it was, um, everybody loved it. It was just such a beautiful yarn and it is really really soft it is very very soft it's one called wonder soft and it's definitely is very soft so um i thought i would give it a little try and see how it works up so it's 100 percent premium acrylic and as you can see 294 meters 322 yards and this is called sunburst 3145 sunburst now i took a couple of balls out for myself and i thought i would make um, some bits and pieces with it but I thought I'd do a few swatches first and show you how it works up so it is a little bit difficult to show because obviously a swatch is just this wide now you don't really make much that's this wide so um, it doesn't really show you the extent of what it would be looking like if it was a longer striping kind of um stitch but it was lovely to work with there was no splitting it really was nice it felt nice on the hook i used the um tulip red hook um which has become one of my favorites i also have these on my uh, website and they've become very very popular since i've uh, had them on and been using them so this first part i did with a uk um half treble crochet which is a half double in the US it's my kind of favorite stitch when things are plain because it's not overly holy and it's quite dense without being really tight and small so it it's got a good coverage and it's it's nice and um you know dense if you like there's it is holy but not not overly so to sort of mark off the section i did this sort of holes i usually make a swatch then another swatch and then another but i just decided to go not end off well at the time i didn't know where my scissors were which is a bit silly because i have a number of pairs now i've been um selling them on hobby rocks i've got quite a few really nice pairs of scissors but i was being lazy so I decided that I would just keep going and make a, a little hole section to sort of section it off so I know where one stitch starts and another stitch begins or ends and one begins. So this is the half double, half treble. Um, I really love these colours. Every single time there is a colour change, you'll be you'll be work it, I've already used the red so um it started off with a little bit but say you're going along with your pink you get this little bit of a red section and then it goes back to pink for a very short space of time and then it goes back to red you you get a little orange section goes back to red and then you get your orange and it happens like this with every single color change as you can see you're in your yellow it becomes green you go back to yellow and then it becomes green and so it goes on so now this particular part of the swatch is a uk treble crochet which is a double crochet in the us and normally when it comes to my swatches it's always my least favorite the one i'm not keen on but i actually quite like it um with this yarn um again you still get that little bit of extra color come through with before it changes you do still get that but i quite like it it's it's not bad at all and i could see projects made with this with the uk treble or us double i usually hate them and those of you who watch my open with me's will know when i come to see a garment or anything that's made where there's row after row after row of this it definitely is not my favorite thing but i have to say with this yarn i actually quite like it so now we've got another little break and the next section, as you can see, it's curling a little bit. It is a UK double crochet or a single crochet in the US. So that being a smaller stitch, you get a, a little bit of a longer pattern change. Um, you still get 
the little bits but where you do have that little bit of ye yellow then it goes to orange then it will go back to yellow it actually is matching up so it's more of a chunk in this section um you still get that a little bit with the others it does go together but it it kind of works a little bit more with with this so this is the um obviously the next color would have been blue so this is the um smaller stitch and i have to say because it's small i think sometimes it doesn't work out very well with that little bit of color changing my my actual favorites for this particular yarn are the trebles or us doubles or the half trebles or or half doubles i like those it is absolutely gorgeous and soft you could use this for anything if you were making any projects like any bags or anything like that because of the bright vibrant colors it would it would be great but any children's projects any baby's projects they would be absolutely lovely it is absolutely the softest squishiest yarn so i wanted to do a knitted section and i tried I, I was actually killing two birds with one stone i've got some tulip swivel uh, knitting needles um, and i wanted to try them as well as this i was going to review both but with the knitted swatch it really was too small and it didn't really work out so i've undone it um, and maybe i'll review those at a later date but i did a little granny square and I have to say, I really like the way it comes up with the granny square. Now, normally speaking, when I make granny squares and they change colour like this, I'm not a fan. Um, especially if you're, you're, you're going along and it's yellow and then it becomes orange and then you get this bit of pink. But I really like it. I actually do. So as you can see, I ended off, there was a bit of blue. And the only thing I did actually cut off and change was I wanted that centre section to not be different. So I didn't carry on with the blue, I cut it off and started with the green. So I wanted to sort of do that and see how, how it looked. Um, but it didn't really work out because as we were going along with the green, it went back to the yellow color. And But I really, I actually really like this granny square made with this, cut, this color scheme. I can't call it the other thing, colorway. It's not really me, but isn't it vibrant and brilliant it's so so nice i really like this yarn i have to say and it's a particularly good price and i still have some it was very popular when i first got it but i still have a fair bit of it so if anybody's interested and for the month of june and i do realize that you might not be watching this in june but um for the next couple of days at least it's still on special offer with the voucher code of flaming june 10 capital f capital j and 10 or one word in the website which is www.hobbyrocks.co.uk sorry i'm going croaky <clears throat> there is a link just under the video to the website and also a link that you can cut and paste for the voucher code which is um for the whole of june so you've got a couple of days left but that's the um, merry-go-round Wondersoft in this absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous colour of Sunburst. Is it Sunburst? Starburst. Starburst. Do apologise. It actually does remind me of Starburst Sweets, which used to be called Opal Fruits for the ears of you in the UK many years ago. But it is just beautiful. I love it. I can't wait to actually make something with it. I'm probably going to make a hat with this. It's such a bright, cheerful, and I might make some fingerless gloves. I've decided to um, undo my swatches and I can use it. So thanks for watching. Um, I hope you like it. Let me know what you think. What's your favourite stitch? I just love the granny square. I think it looks absolutely stunning. So thank you for watching. Stay safe and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.